What's up everybody? Straw Hats are cool here and we are back again with another video. We are here again with yet another episode of Market Watch. Got quite a bit to talk about today, so quite excited about this one. Uh, of course, we are getting very very close to the release of OPO5. Um, I actually managed to my case arrived a little early, so some of you may have already watched my case opening stream and thank you again to everyone who showed up there um, as always before we get into the video thank you so much to everyone who is supporting me uh subscribing to the channel liking the video liking the videos commenting on the videos all of that good stuff it really does mean a lot i do also want to mention um that i did recently start a discord for the channel link for that will be in the video description um, we'll be doing some giveaways there at the time of this recording we still got the giveaway going on for the film red pack which was not claimed during our last giveaway so all you got to do is be in the discord and then there is a separate chat for giveaways and the giveaways there and all you have to do is hit the little react that is there and you will be entered into the giveaway so that one ends tomorrow night I'm expecting this video will probably go up tomorrow morning, so you'll have a few hours left to enter if you uh, get into the Discord by then. Uh, but we will be doing some more giveaways. Um, next week we'll be giving away a starter deck 6, that is the black Sakazuki starter deck. I know that's one a lot of people are going to want to have their hands on if they have any plans on playing blue black Sakazuki, which is definitely going to be one of the top threats into our upcoming format. But with all of that out of the way, we are going to go ahead and jump right in to our market watch. So starting things off, of course, we've got our Shanks manga rare, which currently is list cheapest listing is $1,400 though as before I do just want to mention it seems like the price that to sell at is about a thousand no one's really paying over a thousand but the listings that are at a thousand are selling pretty quickly so if you keep your eye out and you are looking to pick up a copy of this card it seems like about a thousand dollars is the going rate for them right now next up we've got our ace now we've actually got a cheaper listing on Ace right now, though probably won't be here too long. It is a new seller with not a lot of sales, though I'm sure someone will take the opportunity to buy this one. Um, looks like probably the same seller already sold one earlier today. Expect this one probably won't be on here much longer. So again with this one, it seems like the going price for Ace is somewhere around $900,000. So about the same as Shanks, maybe if you're lucky you can grab one for a little less. And there is this one here at $880, which is a lot, but you know, could be a lot worse I guess. So if you really want to pick up your Ace, that's probably a good price to do so. Um, yeah, not a lot of change here with our Shanks and Ace though, kind of sitting around about $1000 where they have been for the last several weeks. Soga King, now this one I do believe has gone up a little bit again, seems like it's sitting around $500 now, uh, and people are buying at that price. Um, not a lot of sales though, as you can see. Um, the at last sale was actually about a week ago, so no one is buying at this $500 price tag, um, except for these couple who sold on the 25th, but after that, no one has been buying after that. So I expect this one will go back down in price again, maybe settle down back around 400 again. Um, so yeah, I, I'd probably wait on this one. I wouldn't bite the bullet just yet. If you are looking to pick up your copy of Soga King, probably wait a little longer as eventually people will lower the prices if they continue not to sell. And last but not least, we have our Sabo, which has now surpassed Soga King in price. Sabo for about the longest time now really I want to say since release almost has been cheaper than the Soga King um, and the Sabo has now finally passed the Soga King in price so while the cheapest listing is at just about $600 I do want to point out though that um, 
The ones that are selling are generally closer to 500 still. Um, this one sold yesterday at 500. Um, there was one that sold on the 29th at 600, but everything before that was right around 500, if not a little less. So do keep that in mind. Um, no one's, no one seems to be buying. Only one has sold around this $600 price tag. So if you're patient, you can probably still pick up a copy for less than $600. Though probably not a whole lot. I would say probably the best you're going to do right now is around $500. Uh, people might be wanting to bling out their their deck with these though. There are also the sealed battle Sabos, uh, which is another variation that is relatively expensive uh, That you could pick up as well um, If you're going want to go a different route with your max rarity deck So we'll talk about that one a little later though That's it for the manga rare. So all in all, not a whole lot of change. Shanks and Ace are about the same place they've been and some slight increases with so Good King and Sabo. With that, let's jump right into OP01, starting things off, of course, with our leaders. So Trafalgar Law is still leading the pack for our leaders at about $400, which is honestly a little absurd to me. They are selling at this price, though not at a alarming rate. One sold yesterday, another one sold a couple days before that, and another one a few days before that. Um, so they're not selling super fast at this price, um, but the price on Law does not seem to be going anywhere but up. So unfortunately, I would like I feel like you're just kind of out of luck with this one at this point. I I guess if you've got the money to spend and you really want it, you can pick one up, but I, I'm i glad I have one because I don't think I could ever justify spending this much money on a leader card. Um, Zoro, a little under $300 now, which is a little surprising. I kind of expect Zoro and Law to really stay pretty in line with each other, but um, does not seem to be the case right now. Zoro is a little under $300. Uh, Don Quixote de Flamingo, on the other hand, is starting to rival Zoro in price. There actually was a point this week where the cheapest listing was $250. Um, so the, the gap between the Zoro and Do Flamingo is closing. Uh, and I do want to point out, I just now noticed that this is for a moderately played copy as well. Your cheapest near mint is $240 with the 99 cent shipping. So again, Starting to rival the Zoro in price there, the Flamingo is getting to be very, very expensive. And to think I thought I overpaid when I spent $100 on my copy, uh, more than double that now, so I guess I shouldn't feel too bad about that. I did use the deck quite a lot. It was a deck I played a lot in OP02. All right, so that is it for our leaders. Uh, by suggestion of some of you in the comment, we are going to cover sealed product now. Uh, probably should have been doing that from the, from the beginning, but I guess I'm more of a player than a collector, so looking at these sealed prices doesn't mean a lot to me because I'm just going to rip open all my boxes anyways. Um, but right now, for OP01, we've got listings at over $400 or $460 with shipping there and that is your cheapest listing so sealed OP01 just continues to go up and up in price uh, though it does look like we've seen a slight decrease from where we were uh, end of November so I guess there's that at least what what I have to say about sealed product though especially sealed product on TCG player especially if you have intentions to open this product um i just wouldn't and the reason for that is because for those of you who watch the stream and i don't remember if this was the case for op01 but for most of the sets the cases were like mappable and what that means is based on the placement in the case uh you were able to determine which boxes had leaders um, and most people would just pick those ones out and then resell the, the rest. So 
be very cautious if you're buying sealed product off of TCG player is is all I have to say about that. All right, Radical Beam. So I guess I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. All of the bans and restrictions except for Gabaji and Moby Dick are being lifted. So we are now in the same format for OP05 that the Asian regions were. So we now have the exact same format. So Newgate back at four copies, Radical Beam four copies, Nami to Don unbanned, Marco back at four copies. That's both the Marcos, the four cost blocker and the five cost. So everything's coming back. And I did mention the Radical Beam and I did say, you know, they were already going up in price. So if you were gonna bank on the fact that they were gonna get unrestricted, I probably would have bought then. Um, and I guess I hope you did because they are now $4 for a single copy of Radical Beam. So if you want to place that, that's looking about $16 right now. And they are selling at this price pretty quickly. That one's actually only got one listing. If you want this one here, it's actually $4.50 about. So if you want your four copies, it's going to be a little bit more than that. Closer to $20 after tax. And for an uncommon, that is a little excessive. So hopefully you were able to grab these while they were a little cheaper. But I'm pretty happy that they've decided to do this. I'm glad to see this stuff coming back as maybe things will be different here but at least in the formats over there the these cards were not oppressive like they were in previous formats so glad to see that radical beam is back at four copies uh nami of course now that like i think we, we already knew that this one was coming back but with the confirmation from the official One Piece Trading Guard game page, we're looking at now $350 for Nami. And again, this is one of those cards that just keeps going up and up and up in price slowly over time. Though again, I will point out that the last listing that sold was at $300, and that was two days ago. There was also a listing that sold at $265 that same day. So there is a chance that this does come back down in price. So if you are looking to pick up a copy of Nami, I might just keep your eye on this one for now and see where things go. Chances are one of these people, since it's been a couple days now, is going to bite the bullet and lower the price a little bit. Uh, see if someone will bite then. And that'll keep happening until someone eventually just decides to start buying the card again. Now... We've got our Momonosuke, and this is one I've brought up again a couple times before, um, especially when OPO6 stuff was getting spoiled um, with the green, yellow Yamato and whatnot. So it's at $2 now. I think when I mentioned this one the first time, it was like still well under a dollar, like only maybe like a quarter. So uh, quite a big increase since then, and I'd say there's a good chance that this one continues to go up in price. Um, as we start to get closer to our OP06 format, though I will say it's heavily dependent on whether or not Yamato continues to see success in the OP06 format. I will say there is a good chance it does. The leader is very powerful and it definitely seems to be shaping up to be one of the best decks of the OP06 format. So I might pick up your copies now if you don't have them. Um, if you're like me and you've been playing since the beginning, you've probably got a whole bunch of these still sitting in your bulk, so it shouldn't be an issue. I do also want to mention the Kinemon. Now, this one's a little weirder and I guess more of just speculation on my part. I really have no idea. Um, this card, its price, you know, it hasn't changed much. In fact, it's gone down over the last month. Um, the only reason I'm bringing it up is because this is not yet confirmed, though we do have our first mini set coming uh, early next year. It'll be EB01, uh, and I believe that's like extra booster one. And this is a mini set. It will have three new leaders, and it is geared at supporting older uh, decks that already exist. Now, they there was a leak that is not yet confirmed 
that the three leaders that will be included in the set so there will only be three leaders that is confirmed um but the leaders that have supposedly been leaked and will be in the set are Hanyabol, Odin, and I can't remember the last one now. There was going to be Hanyabol and Odin and someone else who I, I, I have forgotten. It will probably come back to me in a minute. Oh, uh, Kiros. Hanyabol, Kiros, and Odin. And the reason I'm bringing up Kinemon is because if that Odin includes green as one of its types or you can somehow play this kinemon in that deck could go up in price um this is heavy speculation here but if there is a new odin leader and it is green you can use this in the deck for full value and like all things considered the on play is not too bad like if we get a green yellow yamato or odin leader that could actually really um be pretty good for this card uh, still six cost for a 6k is a big ask but um, if it does stick around you can get a lot of value out of it so that is why I am bringing this one up now I don't want to say I told you so but this five cost Yamato started you know around $30 maybe a little less when we first started covering it on market watch and after the spoils of opo6 this one quickly started to go up in price because of the green yellow yamato deck now my stance on this card was always that the card's not good it's not going to be good in that deck it's too easily outed to removal and because it doesn't have rush it needs to stick around for a turn before it does anything and wouldn't you know it opo6 arrives and this card is seeing no play in any of the Yamato decks because, well, it's just, it's too slow. It's not good enough. It needs to stick around. And with decks like Sakazuki, this is so easily outed to removal that it's just not worth playing. So it's back down to $35. Don't buy it. You don't need it. Maybe you have one copy for your collection if you really want it. Other than that, you don't need this card. So I hope you didn't buy it when it was like $50 or whatever it was. But I do believe they were up around $50 and you can see they were at least 40. I guess they've been more around $40. There was a point when they were about 50 and selling. So hopefully you didn't buy it at that price. Um, and if you really want your copy, you can pick it up. But point is, it is not seeing success in the Yamato deck. Um, I do want to just point out that the Dracul Mihawk SR is continuing to fall in price a bit as this card becomes less relevant in the upcoming format. But if you don't have your copies and you, you would like to have them in your collection, now might be a good time to pick them up. And last card for OP01 is going to be Jack, and this is the parallel alternate art. And... I'm bringing this up again, kind of like Kingimon, because it is one of the cheaper alternate arts in the set right now. And I don't think this card has been making big waves or seeing a lot of success. Though I will say I have seen some lists in OP06 popping up that do include copies of this Jack. So I just thought it was something worth bringing up because maybe someone will discover something good and this card will start to see more play but still one of the cheaper SRs and I've had four copies for a while myself, um, but it, it could end up seeing some play. I've been seeing now that we're getting more discard type effects in the game, some more discard focused decks. So this card could wind up seeing some play and being a decent card in those decks. So that's why I'm bringing that one up. So that is it for OP01. We're gonna go ahead and jump into OP02 now. Starting things off with our leader. Now, following the lift of all the bans and restrictions, Newgate has shot up to about $200. They were $200, and some did sell at that price, though it looks like um, not many people were biting at that price, so there were some sellers who did uh, bite the bullet and list theirs a little bit lower. Now we're sitting at $185. So... 
I, I really don't expect this one to go anywhere, honestly. Just a popular character. And the deck is still playable in the OP05 format. It is definitely not oppressive like it was in the previous formats, but it is still a playable deck. So if you enjoy your new gate, uh, worry not, he is back. Um, and you can continue to play him into the OP05 format. Other big change for our leaders in OP02. Uh, for some reason, Garp has shot up to $110. Couldn't really tell you why. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. So, Garp is now your second most expensive leader from set 2. We'll see if that sticks or not. I don't think there was any support that would be geared towards Garp that was announced anytime recently. Like, I know the... The three brothers ultimate starter deck stuff has been getting spoiled, but all those cards are yellow and he's not got yellow as one of his types, so I don't really know what's up there. Our sealed boxes of OP02 are at $270. Again, we're seeing with these sealed products that prices are just continuing to go up and up and up. I feel like this one was high for a while, dropped back down to about 150 and then following that has continued to just skyrocket in price like i said with op01 in general on tcg player especially i would just avoid buying sealed product unless you plan on keeping it sealed yourself do not buy these products with the intentions of opening them because the boxes have been mappable so there's a good chance that the seller is a little scummy and pulled out the boxes with the good hits and left the rest to resell not to say that there can't be something good in here but um probably won't see any leaders or anything like that um the marco because the rest restriction was lifted has gone up in price quite a bit was around 50 cents we're looking at closer to two dollars now uh, not else, much else to say about it, but obviously it's back at four copies, so people are going to want four copies. The alternate art, of course, as well as shot up, was about $20, and now it's doubled at about $43. They're selling. I don't really know how playable these cards are. Like I said, Newgate's still playable, and you probably run these in Newgate. But I will say, I want to say the list that I've seen see success in the op05 format actually haven't been running marco Maybe they probably were but they're very much just rush focused decks uh playing your five cost rush luffy even some rush zoros i've been seeing uh you run the new sanji from starter deck 10 which has access to rush so really just a very aggressive kind of beat down deck and i think that does work because one of the the issues that most decks have against Sakazuki is that their things never live long enough for them to get an attack in. But if everything has rush, you're at least getting one attack in with those characters. So just something to keep in mind there. Edward Newgate, of course, this one is going to be pretty expensive again now that it is back at four copies. You can now run your red purple luffy decks at full power with four copies of newgate um for myself personally i'm very excited to play that deck while i don't think it's the most competitive deck out there it's definitely a fun one to play and you will want four copies of newgate for that deck so your regular sr newgate is up at 20 dollars now so if you were one of the believers that this card would get unbanned or i guess unrestricted Congratulations, your gamble paid off. Hopefully you were able to pick up your copies when they were, I want to say like under $5. All right, our alternate art Newgate is up now at $82. There was a period shortly following the announcement where this was up over $100. Thankfully, things have dropped down from there and we're now looking at $82. Though that is a pretty considerable increase from where they have been. So, again, hopefully you pick them up before now. Uh, if not, I would probably wait because 
like I said, in general, this card's not seeing, it's seeing play, but it's not seeing success, the amount of success that it was before. So I'd say there's a good chance that these do come down in price. So I would just be patient and keep your eye on this one. Next up, we've got Kazuki Odin. And again, very, very in the similar light to the Secret Rare Yamato from set one. This is one of those cards that a lot of people started buying up on the announcement of OP06 spoilers. And they were picking them up in the anticipation that it would be good in the green yellow Yamato deck. However, again, this card is seemingly seeing no play or success in those decks. And as a result, its price has dropped down a little bit. I want to say this one was up around 30 and now it's continuing to drop down in price again. Now, maybe there is a chance that that um, Odin deck, if it is true that we are getting a new Odin leader and it is green and you can use these cards, it'll be good. Maybe it'll do something like give your Wano guys rush and then your banish Yamato will be great. But if not, the card's still bad and kind of similar thing with this one. This one I think is better than the Yamato. If it sticks, it does a lot. And as long as it doesn't get bottom decked, um, even when it gets KO'd, you still get some value out of it. Um, now, all right, I've got Buggy, Luffy, and Ivanka from set two all here. Now I wanna point out that they are all seeing slight increases in their price over the last month or so. So Luffy's seen a bigger one, kind of a spike here. And then Buggy, it's been going up and down. It was up following the first new ban and restricted announcement when people thought Nami was gonna be really good again. And then after that, it dropped back down. Now, the reason I'm bringing these up again is again because of the EB01 potential spoiler leak. Um, Hanyabol would be a leader geared towards Impulse Down. And I think it could be really cool if it was like a blue purple Impulse Down leader. That way you could kind of merge the two, have access to different cards there. Um, they wouldn't all work together because like the this one it's very specifically blue impel down but if we get new impel down support which we definitely should be getting with the hanyable leader but if that support also helps these cards you could see a pretty significant rise in price here and that's why i'm bringing these up i don't think they're good now but they definitely could be if we get some good support in eb01 Uta, unfortunately, the red purple Uta deck is seeing no success, and anyone who's trying isn't even using this card. Again, like I said with the Yamato, this card's just not good. It's really not. So, no point in running it in your Uta deck. So, seeing our Uta alternate art also drop down in price a little bit. Um, Looks pretty steady here, but it, it was up over $40 for a time, and now um, it's under $40, so probably go down a little bit from here again. But yeah, unfortunately, the red-purple Yamato deck is not really shaping up to be much of a threat in the OP06 format. Now, this box topper, Don Quixote Rosinante, is seeing a little bit of hype and surgeons in price because one of the only outs that the blue black sakazuki deck has to countering yamato is just playing small blockers rosinante is a small blocker he's got the navy type so he's searchable and that's about all there is to say i will mention that there is also the store championship copy of this card which is also seeing a increase in price, which we'll take a look at here shortly. But the reason this one's seeing some price increase is just because it is a small blocker with the Navy typing. Garp is also seeing a little bit of a price increase. Not too sure why on this one, but at the end of the day, it's a 2K counter that says Navy, so that probably has something to do with it. 
Um, and then your Kuzan, both your regular and alt are still expensive. And same thing with Borsalino. I already mentioned these in the last video. I feel like I've mentioned these cards in almost every video I've done. And I'm just mentioning them again in case you missed the last episode. They're expensive. Blue Black Sakazuki is probably the best deck in the format. These cards are played in that deck. They're going to be expensive. So hopefully you already grabbed your copies. All right. That is it for OP02. On to OP03. First up, we've got our leaders. Katakuri still leading the pack for your set three leaders. But Nami shortly behind. And now Ace is not far behind that. Ace has seen a pretty considerable price increase. I couldn't really tell you why, as I don't think Ace is going to be seeing a lot of success in set 5, though I said that about sets 3 and 4, and he kept popping up in the top. So, someone can prove me wrong again, and if they do, it'll probably be Vampire Gaming, because he is addicted to this deck, just can't seem to put it down, and he does seem to keep finding success with it, so congrats to him on that. But other than that, not a lot of changes with our leaders, so let's jump into our sealed. Sealed Pillars of Strength is at $150. You got $10 shipping on that as well. Still one of the cheaper sets. Um, honestly, this is probably what people are pre-ordering it at. And it's not the worst price ever, though it's not great. It's definitely still pretty far above MSRP. So same deal as before, um, if you want to buy it and keep it sealed, that's probably fine on this one, but I wouldn't buy it with the intentions of opening it, just because there is the potential that the, the person who's selling these mapped their case and picked out all the leader boxes and just left your S or secret rare or single alt boxes because they're, they were at least for some sets able to do that. I cannot confirm that they were able to do that with set three, but I feel like most sets they've been able to do that. So just keep that in mind. All right, starting off with our wanted Eustace Captain Kid, like with all the other wanted cards, it is seeing an increase in price and is about $50 now. Deck's not seeing, not really seeing play in any decks as far as I'm aware. Maybe someone's trying something cheeky with their Yamato decks in set 6, but at the end of the day, this is more of just a collector card, and as this card, this set is getting older, um, collectors are buying up these cards for their collection, so the prices are going up a little bit. Marco, following the, like, being unrestricted, gone back up to $10 again, makes sense, still a good card, um, nothing else to say there makes sense why Marco's going back up again it was it was removed from the restricted list so you can run it at four copies people want to have four copies again so this is just the result of that bans and restriction being lifted next up we've got our wanted Luffy which is now at $120 though I do want to mention that they are not selling at $120 Every now and then, some seller will bite the bullet and list it at 100 and they are selling at that price. So if you're looking for a wanted Luffy, like myself, I would wait to find one at $100 because if people continue to not buy at this price, eventually sellers will lower them because at the end of the day, they're trying to turn a profit. Um, and if they can sell it for $100, they're probably still happy. Um... I guess I just got a random page pulled up here. Uh, we got our Usopp alternate art, and it's going up in price a little bit. Now, if I had to guess, it's because Hero can't re I can't remember his full channel name, but Hero he's got a YouTube channel. He's a player. Um, I don't. I want to say he's in Singapore, maybe, um, but he's not in our region he's in the asian regions and so he's already been playing in the op05 format and is now playing in the op06 format but i want to say in one of the last op05 formats over there he did very well with sakazuki and his list did play one copy of the usopp and it just 
the only blue card that has rush so just kind of a little cheeky little rush option in the deck so i'm guessing that some people saw him do well with a deck that was running a single copy of usopp so we're seeing a little bit of price increase there so congratulations to hero for doing well at that event very exciting to see and always fun to see cheeky little tech cards popping off every now and then you know pretty cool to see there next up we've got just our yellow stuff and for the most part the yellow stuff has stayed about the same with the exception of cracker here cracker has actually seen quite a significant price increase and for those of you who have been following the channel for a little while this is one of those cars that i kept bringing up and kept saying i think this one's going to go up in price it's still only like two dollars i would buy them now and hopefully you were around then and were able to pick up your copies because now we're looking at ni about nine dollars after shipping and tax um, and they are selling at this price they are seeing they are also seeing play in opio 6 and from what I can see, both the NL decks and the Katakuri decks, a lot of them are running this card as well. So, card is seeing a lot more play than it has been. And as a result, of course, the price is going up. Though, I do want to mention that the alternate art is still about the same price that it has been. Same for all of the other yellow alts. Not a lot of change here, except for your regular cracker. Alt's not seeing a big increase. Hero Sparrows are about where they've been. Linlin's about where they've been. Pudding and Kata, about the same place that they've been. So just the Cracker here, which is seeing a bit of a price increase. So hopefully you already grabbed your Crackers. Polly, as we are now one week away from the release of OPO5, Polly is seeing more price increase. Um, it's a four of in most of the purple luffy decks uh reason being that you can play it on your curve to the point where the the biggest thing your opponent could have played is a four drop um i believe it is i want to say if you go first you use your effect on three dawn you go to four dawn and then your opponent is on four dawn their next turn they play a four drop you because you used your leader effect are on four as well so you'll go to six and then on that six dawn you use your leader effect again getting you another active dawn putting you to seven so you can play poly use the effect ko their guy ramps you to eight and then going into your next turn you'll be on ten dawn so in this that deck specifically this card is very very powerful and for those who want to bling out their purple luffy decks this is going to be a pretty expensive card now. Last but not least, I'm bringing up Alifa. This is a 2k counter alternate art rare. And I'm not too sure why, but it's seeing a pretty, a fairly significant price increase, I'd say. Now, this could be because this is something you can grab back off of Gecko Moria in set six it's a 2k counter it draws it, it filters and it does cost reduction all in the same card so in gecko moria maybe this could see some play i actually haven't been following those lists too closely though so i'm not too sure about that but it's the only thing i could think of but probably fussing a price increase there so that is it for what i wanted to cover for opo3 onto opo4 and as usual, there's not really a lot to cover here, but we'll just kind of talk about some things, remind us again of what's going on here. Uh, leader cards, they're all about the same. Cheapest set in terms of leaders and really just cards in general was more available than all of its previous sets. And the cards just weren't as good. I feel like this is definitely the weakest set um, so far in the one piece trading card game so sealed we're still about 90 dollars after shipping a little more but really we're looking at about 90 dollars for a sealed box of op04 and that's msrp so all well and good here if you want to grab a box hold on to it maybe they'll go up only time will tell but 
given what we see with the previous sets, it probably will. Though, if I had to guess, this one probably not as much, just because, like I mentioned, really in terms of hits, this set is definitely one of the weaker ones, at least in my opinion. So, just want to talk about the yellow stuff again. Specifically, Capone and Sanji really more than anything else, because Capone and Sanji are four ofs in every yellow deck, more or less. Maybe not the green-yellow Yamato deck in uh, set six, but in Katakuri and NL, Capone and Sanji, they're four ofs. You run four copies of those cards, and they're still pretty cheap. They're still pretty cheap. Um, and if these decks continue to be good and see play, these cards probably will as well. And as we get, you know, farther away from this set, they'll probably go up in price. I have to imagine this is going to continue to be one of the best 2k counters for yellow for a good while. Just a trigger that can win you the game is great. And at the end of the day, it's still just a 2k counter. So very good card in Capone. Same thing with Sanji. Trigger characters are good. This one's a blocker as well. So it can kind of keep you in the game that one extra turn you need to finish things off. So really just a very powerful staple for yellow. The SR Yamato has dropped down in price a little bit again. It did kind of pop off for a minute. It was about $9, $10 for a minute. And now it's back down at about $5. But I will say it's still a very powerful card. And while it's not seeing as much play in Katakuri decks, it's definitely a four of in your Enaru decks. So if you want to play Enaru, this is definitely a card you're going to want four of. Same thing for the alt, but that's just for the people who want to bling out their decks like me. Um, it's at $62 now, so a little higher than it has been. I want to say it's been sitting around $50, and now it's about $62, making it possibly the most expensive alternate art in the set, aside from your SPs. Yeah, so it is the most expensive non-SP alt. Last but not least, SP Newgate actually less than the OPO2 alternate art and I do find that a little surprising because I want to say technically this one should be harder to get though I'm not too sure about that now personally I think Chad beard looks a little cooler than this one and that's why I have my four copies of that one and not this one I've got my one for my collection but I'd rather use the the Chad beard in my deck so this is a cheaper option for an alternate art new gate if you are wanting to pick up four copies now that the restriction is lifted. So yeah, that's it for OPO4. So that means we're moving on to our promo cards. Starting things off, all of the Straw Hat Dawn are seeing a price increase. And I'm not really too sure why this is. Um, we did just get the announcement on our next treasure cups which will be happening um sometime next year i will say i'm a little disappointed with with the treasure cup structure in general like i have been but i feel like it's just these these next ones are even worse it's nice that you get the dawn pack in the treasure cup now but as a whole i feel like they're even worse than they already were which is a little disappointing to see but anyways, like all of these, these Dawn cards are expensive. Chopper is the most expensive one now. Uh, kind of a feels bad for me because I just sold one for like $55 because that was the going price like two weeks ago. But hey, is what it is. I think I also sold a Zoro as well. Maybe a Robin. But yeah, your, your Dawn cards are very expensive and I'm not too sure why. Other than I guess, as the game gets more and more popular, more people want to have these, and at the end of the day, they're still not super easy to get. There are quite a few of them out there now that we've been doing events for almost a year, but still not the easiest cards to get your hands on. Winner Toshigi, still at pretty expensive price, around $40, though it is down from where it was. It was around 50 
and they were selling at that price but now we're down to 40 and of course they're still selling this is a four of in sakazuki and it is your max rarity version of the card so if you're looking to totally bling out sakazuki you're gonna need four copies of this card some of the store championship cards are going up in price Earl's going up in price couldn't tell you why um it's a cheap blocker with counter i guess max rarity could have something to do with it core zone like we mentioned cheap blocker has navy in its type uh that's why it's going up set six speculation all right so brulee is going back up in price i want to say it dropped down to about 30 dollars because i i think i remember bringing it up and I basically said this card still sees play in most yellow decks in set 5 it'll probably go up again because it's the max rarity version of that card and sure enough looks to be the case we're at $40 now there was a point in time and I want to say kind of the middle of set 4 where this one was almost $50 and I'm not saying we're going to see that again but we definitely could so just keep that in mind Sengoku. This is the event pack volume one Sengoku. Uh, I don't know why it's been around eight dollars forever and it's back up to 20. Don't know why, but it's a price increase, so I had to bring it up. Your store championship Monkey D. Luffy winner card is up at $420, just about. Definitely a missed opportunity there. Four, four, could have been 420.69. 418.69. Definitely a mistake there. Um, but anyways, there's not a lot of listings. And they're getting more and more expensive. This card's not seeing play. But it's cool art. It's your boy Monkey D. Luffy. And it's something collectors are going to want to have their hands on. And it was a really hard card to get. Only one person got this at the store championships. The winner, only the winner. Some of those like super pre-release cards, like top four get them, even though they say winner. This one, there was only one. So they were hard to get, collectors won them. Following the restricted announcement that everything's getting unbanned and restricted, Marco got bought out. No one's buying at this price. Last the one that sold was 260. That was a couple days ago now. But it did happen. It is bought out. Uh they're $520. Same thing with your five cost Marco championship version. Last one that sold was 540. But we're looking at 800 now. Queen. Now, there actually is no sales history, but the cheapest listing is $2,400. Uh, that's a lot. And I guess if you really, really want to bling out Luffy, you do want four copies of this card. And it's a real shame because it's a lot harder for us to get these cards here than it was over in Asia. I want to say like they essentially have what to me seem like store championships more frequently over there and for doing well at one of those you got the queen so it just seems like there are a lot more of these cards over there i mean look at this a japanese copy is 150 dollars and that's probably expensive if i had to guess if you're selling on tcg player like Usually the prices are a little inflated. So yeah, little it does suck a little bit, but it is what it is. And last but not least for our promos, we do have to talk about the new sealed battle promo cards, uh, which are of course being given out at the sealed battles. Your winner Sabo, it doesn't say winner on it, but this is the card you get for winning is an alternate art version of the OPO4 SR Sabo. The blocker 
And I will say I have seen the card in person. I don't personally own one myself, but the card does look absolutely incredible. Um, if I was going to be blinging out a deck, I would definitely want these over the manga. The foiling on these is really just immaculate. And having the, the two brothers in the, the flame as well, just it looks very, very clean. Now, you also got a participation pack, which had two of these blue um, straw hat cards. Um, these are the same cards that are being featured in the um the little binder that was on premium bandai for the live action only these ones aren't live action so people are probably going to want these quite a bit more there is a new luffy leader it's not great got dawn one when attacking if you have i want to say three or less cards in hand you draw one uh but new mono blue leader is cool to see uh, these cards are not foiled and because of how hard it has been to get into sealed battles, these cards are pretty expensive. I'm a judge for the game, and so I I ran one of these events the other night, and I was going to run run the other night as well. But there have been all sorts of issues surrounding this event where either the game stores don't have sealed product to run the event, or they just never got their sealed battle kit. Um... And then the contents of the sealed battle kit seems like there's been some discrepancies there where some stores are getting more than others and some stores just like i don't know the whole thing just seems like it wasn't handled very well and as a result these cards are pretty expensive so i hope they do somehow either have more sealed battles where they include these or they just do some other events where they also give packs that have these cards because there's no reason that these cards should be as much as they are right now. That is it for the promos. Jumping on to our pre-release cards. Ice Sage pre-release is 20 bucks. I want to say this is a two of in most Sakazuki decks. So like it makes sense that it's expensive, I guess. This is your Max Verity version for now. It is what it is. I wouldn't touch this. If I had one, I'd probably sell it. Top Knot is also seeing a increase in price. This card, I guess it, yeah, it, it was like $3 and now it's 15. And now I know there have been some people who've been trying this in blue fee. I do think the Eggman himself was actually trying a list that included two copies of this card. And he said he was liking it pretty well. So, um, Maybe this card is pretty good. It is one way you can get around Orselino in purple as it does bottom deck. So this is purple bottom deck. It gets up to a four cost so you can remove sticky blocker like Orselino with it. Though you still won't be able to get Sabo the turn it's played with this. Um, surely this is the three cost blocker from uh, set three. And it's been seeing a little bit of success in Queen. Some decks are running two copies. And it's up at $9 now. I'm a little confused by this because a lot of decks, a lot of Queen decks have also been running two to four copies of Pound. And Pound has never gone up above a dollar. So it doesn't really make sense to me. So I'd probably stay away from this one. Sell it if you got it. Make yourself a little bit of money. All right, that's it for pre-release. Not a lot of talk about there. And this is going pretty long. Um, so we do want to talk about our starter decks. I thought I pulled up the other starter decks as well, but oh, I think I did. Here we go. Let's reorder things here. Okay, so for starter deck one, I'm, I'm just bringing up starter deck one because Diablo Jambe is going up because a lot of the red purple luffy list are running three copies of this card um reason being is that you can kind of go for this combo finisher with the 10 cost gear 5 luffy where you play it get another turn um you know attack with your leader before passing so you get another turn untap get some more dawn attack with your leader and then you can jambe your 
your gear five and go for a big finishing attack that bypasses blockers with him. So that's the reason for that. And I also want to point out that starter deck Luffy is still at 12 bucks and should be starting next week. Your local game stores that are running tournaments should have tournament pack volume five and the participation pack for those does have a variation of this card. It's a different art for it. Um, so hopefully this card will go down in price now that it is becoming more accessible as it does have a new art that you get for participating in a local tournament. Now, I don't know what's going on here, but for some reason, the kid leader from the starter deck is $8. That seems a little, little off. Something doesn't seem quite right there. I mean, of the starter deck leaders, it's definitely the one seeing the most play of the original ones, but $8 seems like a lot for a leader. I don't know. Nothing else. In, it's the most expensive card in the deck now, which is kind of funny, honestly. Um, Your blue starter deck. Love, Love, Mellow is still kind of expensive. Other than that, nothing really worth picking up here. Starter deck 4, Queen's still expensive. Uh, lead performer's going up a little bit. C's playing Red, Purple, Luffy. Uh, Kaido, probably going to go down a little bit. We are getting the new art as well in the new tournament pack. Um, except... Starter deck 5, Uta, Guild to Soro, still pretty expensive. But Uta's coming down, so... Uh, reason being that, well, Green Purple Dofi doesn't really see any play next set. So, these cards see less play. Starter deck 6 is now probably the most valuable, I would say. <coughs> Great Eruption and Hina, both... This is... A, I think they're both 4 ofs in Sakazuki and you only get two copies per starter deck so um yeah they're expensive starter decks expensive um if you've not joined the discord already I recommend doing that because like I said we do giveaways there and next week we will be giving away one of these starter decks on there so keep your eye out for that and then starter deck seven um that one says $13 but it's got $14.99 shipping so that's a trap and these cards both see play next set this one sees a lot more play than it's seen recently neck or in the set five so thirty dollars is a lot but hopefully you already grabbed them there were some cheap ones on target last week unfortunately those sold out pretty quickly thirty dollars still ain't terrible and it's cheaper than buying the singles so if you have to and you want to play yellow i would probably bite the bullet and do it um though i do think someone in my local community reached out as they might have one of these to give away as well so potentially have a giveaway for one of those two uh that these are the star decks i wanted to talk about those older ones uh everything one through seven uh so that is it for what i want to talk about on the starter decks and that leaves us at about the end of our video. Though I do just again want to talk about the pre-sales. Don't buy pre-sales. Things will go down. I promise they will. Um, these cards are not going to stay this expensive. Especially the rares. I do just want to point out over here. Okay. Man Sherry is $12, okay? Manchiri is played as a two of in most Sakazuki decks. That's it, that's the only deck it's played in and it's played as a two of. It doesn't even make sense. You see this card right here? This is a four of in every Sakazuki deck. And it's less than $5. Now, I will say this one's gonna drop as well. You'll probably be able to get it for a dollar. That would be my guess. This, this card's gonna be a dollar. This card's gonna be 50 cents. This one's gonna be a dollar. Why is the card that's played as a four of less than the one that's played as a two of? Makes no sense. 
is the same price as Bello Betty Rare. And this card does not see a lot of competitive success. Satori is a four of in like every yellow deck. They're, 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 it makes no sense. Anyways, that's it for today's Market Watch. Again, another longer one. I feel like these videos just always end up being an hour long. So I do apologize for that, but you guys seem to enjoy them. So as always, thank you for sticking with me through it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, um, please do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you've not done so already. But with that, I will let you all go and catch you all in the next video. Peace.